Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Xiaomi 13T and the 13T Pro. Now you can pick these up online, I'll throw the links up in the description. The cheapest price that I found the 13T for, 575 bucks, and the 13T Pro, 700 bucks. Now, we're gonna talk about the specs. Both of them are pretty much identical, except for five key differences, which we'll touch on in a minute. So let's start off with the 13T Pro. Now this one comes in black, blue, and green. So does the 13T. For the display, you got a 6.67 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1220 by 2712. Now that's 446 for the PPI Patrol. You got Gorilla Glass 5 on the front for protection, glass or vegan leather back with an aluminum frame, IP68 dust and water resistant, up to 2600 nits brightness, and a 144 hertz refresh rate. Not like this 60 hertz bullshit that you're gonna find on the iPhone 15. For the processor, you got the MediaTek Dimensity 9200 Plus with the Mali G715 GPU. Now, what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro, flagship specs. Now you got 12 or 16 gigs of RAM, 128, 256, 512, or one terabyte of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now it's running Android 13 with MIUI 14 skin on top. You got a 5,000 milliamp battery that features 120 watt fast charge. That means you can charge this phone from zero to 100% in 19 minutes. For the cameras, on the rear you got a triple setup. These are the Leica lenses. You got a 50 megapixel wide angle, 50 megapixel telephoto, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide. Now you can shoot video at 8K 24 frames per second or 4K 60 frames per second. On the front, you got a 20 megapixel wide angle lens and you can shoot video at 1080p 30 frames per second. Now you got dual stereo speakers, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, always on display, face unlock, on-screen fingerprint sensor, IR blaster, and second space, also known as thought protection. All right, so all of that for 700 bucks, what's missing? No quad HD display, no expandable memory, no wireless charge, and no headphone jack, that shit's whack, hashtag bars. Now, what's the difference between the two? There's five key differences, other than that, everything is the same. Number one, the price. 13T, 575 bucks, 13T Pro, 700 bucks. Number two, the processor. The 13T has the Dimensity 8200 Ultra, the 13T Pro, the Dimensity 9200 Plus. So you get a slightly better processor. Number three, RAM and storage. Now with the 13T, you got eight or 12 gigs of RAM, 128 or 256 gigs of storage. With the 13T Pro, you got 12 or 16 gigs of RAM, 128, 256, 512, or one terabyte of storage. So more RAM, more storage. Number four, the camera, mostly the video camera. With the 13T Pro, you can shoot 8K video, okay? And you can shoot 4K 60 frames per second. With the 13T, you can shoot 4K at 30 frames per second. That's the max resolution. And lastly, the battery. Now both of them have a 5,000 milliamp battery, but the 13T has 67 watt fast charge. That means you could charge this phone from zero to 100% in 42 minutes. With the 13T Pro, you got 120 watt fast charge, zero to 100% in 19 minutes. So basically, $100 more, okay, for the 13T Pro, but you are getting a better processor, you're getting more RAM, more storage, better video camera, and faster charging battery. Other than that, they're basically the same. All right, so let's unbox it and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white, white shoes. shoes. Calm down. Okay, so let's start off with the 13T. Now, as you can see by the size of the box, <laughs> there's a charger in here. Okay, so shout out to Xi Jinping. One quick side note. I know a lot of y'all don't rock with the CCP, okay, the Chinese Communist Party. Y'all hear me make a lot of Xi Jinping jokes, but at the end of the day, this is a tech channel, okay? If y'all wanna talk about politics, go to CNN, go to Fox News, okay? Go to MSNBC, wherever you get your fake news from. This is a tech channel. We're just reviewing the product for what it is, okay? A tech product. 13T, nice white box. Y'all know I like that, giggity. Let's see, inside, okay. Now, let's see. This is gonna be SIM ejection tool. Of course, you got your usual books and shit. Plug them and follow them. 
and you get a case. Okay, and that's a little gel skin case, nothing fancy, but it's still a case. Now, with the 13T, I went with the glass back version. Okay, this is the uh, Alpine Green. Beautiful. Let's see what else you get. 67 watt fast charging brick in the box, USB Type-C charging cable. Let's all say it together. Samsung, Google, Apple, Sony, pay attention. Okay, this is how you do it. All right, so this is the 13T. Now let's take it over to the 13T Pro. Same white box, nice and clean. <laughs> this is gonna be the same presentation. Let's see, some ejection tool. You get a same kind of gel skin case. Now with the 13T Pro, this is the vegan leather back. Beautiful. And let's all say it one more time. Samsung, Google, Apple, Sony, put the charger in the box. One more quick side note. Now again, I know a lot of y'all do not rock with Xi Jinping and the Chinese Communist Party, but let's just take a second and appreciate how they deliver in these phones. If it wasn't for Samsung, Xiaomi would be my favorite phone manufacturer. First of all, the Mix Fold 3 is my favorite foldable device out right now. This is the big boy fold. I told my man I was gonna sell this one, but I couldn't get rid of it. You got the 13 Ultra, okay? If the Galaxy S23 Ultra did not have the S Pen, it would have been a problem. I probably would have liked this one better. And we got the 13 Pro, also known as the Galaxy S23 Plus Killer. With the ceramic back, this one is insane. Now I know somebody's gonna say, which one should you get? The 13 Pro or the 13T Pro? The 13 Pro is a better phone. You're getting wireless charge, quad HD display, all of the bells and whistles, okay? But it's gonna be, the cheapest I found this one for is 850 bucks on Giztop. So if you want to save some money, you got to go with one of these. Now, which one would I go with? I'd rather just spend that extra 100 bucks and get the 13T Pro because I like my video 4K, 60 frames per second. Other than that, as far as the processor, after using both of these all day, and as you can see, I'm actually using both of them. Okay, after using both of them all day, you're going to notice that the processing speed feels about the same. Look at that. Look at the super wallpapers on deck. I love them. All right, so let me um, just pause the video, delete my browsing history, and then we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. First, let's take it over to the scales of justice and see the weight difference. First, with the 13T, this one is 202 grams. Glass back, 13T Pro, vegan leather back, 203 grams. So pretty much the same weight. All right, so now let's talk about the build quality. With the 13T, this one has the glass back, but it's also available in vegan leather. You're gonna see a little smudges on it, but it definitely feels 100% premium. There's your triple camera setup, Leica lenses, okay? On this side, you got volume rocker, power button. On the top, IR blaster, Samsung, bring it back, okay? On this side, nice and clean. On the bottom, there's your SIM tray, USB Type-C charging slot, and your speaker grill. And on the front, got a little cutout for your front facing camera. Now with the 13T Pro, the vegan leather back. This is the way to go. No fingerprints, no smudges, and it feels extra premium. I love this. Same thing with the, <laughs> the Mix Fold 3 and the 13 Ultra. You see how that vegan leather always looks nice. With the glass backs, now with the white, Ceramic back, it's a little bit different because it's white, but when you get colors on your glass back, you're gonna notice these smudges, and you're gonna have to keep wiping it down. There's your triple camera setup, Leica lenses, okay? Volume rocker, power button, IR blaster, Samsung, okay? <laughs> this side nice and clean, USB Type-C charging slot, there's your SIM tray, speaker grill. Now, both of these phones have a flat panel, okay? I'm glad they got rid of that curved screen. Let's see, I think this, yeah, my, 13 Ultra still has that curve. Now I do have the camera case on it. Let me just go ahead and pop this off so y'all can see it in full glory. But I want y'all to see what I'm talking about. Okay, this activated the flash. Oh, let me turn that off. See, vegan leather back always looks nice. This one kind of has subtle curves on the display. In this day and age, I'm ready to get rid of curved displays altogether. You want that flat panel. Okay, it's just so much better to type on. So both of these have Excellent build quality, both IP68, dust and water resistant, 5,000 milliamp batteries with the Supreme fast charge, faster than Apple, faster than Samsung, faster than Google. 
Now, I'm gonna run through the OS. These are basically the same, so no reason to run through it on both of them. I'll just pop them open so you can see them. All right, now these are the global ROMs. So if you swipe over, you got your Google home page. Swipe down, here's all your quick toggles. Okay, now if you want to, matter of fact, let me do that one more time. You got more, let's see. You got a bunch of quick toggles, let's see. You got Google Pay, let's see, anything we need to see? Live captions, PC file transfer, all your standard quick toggles. Let's go to settings. Okay, now look at, this is the big boy right here. This is 512 gigs, okay, the big boy. Let's go to, let's see, uh, security status. Anything we need to see there? No, you got find my device, security updates, connection and sharing. Okay, so you got screencast, VPNs, private DNS. You do have NFC, wireless display, Android Auto. It actually works, okay? This is the global ROM. You got Chromebook and nearby share. Let's go to always on display and lock screen. Now you got a bunch of different always on displays, but most importantly, you got the super wallpapers, which, <laughs> look at this. You see, now this one is set to Mars. I'm not gonna look at it. It goes bigger Mars, and then when I look at it, brings me down to the planet. Now let me see which one I got on this. Okay, now with this one, I got the snowy peaks. I just want y'all to see these super wallpapers. They're so dope. Uh, you see the snowy peaks? Then when I look at it, takes me to the mountain. Let's see with this one, let's see what do I have on this. I should have the Saturn rings to match the green. Okay, look, you got the Saturn ring. This is your always on display. Then when you click it, brings you closer to the planet. When you look at it, brings me into the rings, okay? And with this one, I'm rocking the planet Earth. Okay, when I click on it, okay? Now it's nighttime, so you can see the Earth is at nighttime. And then when I open it up, it'll take me to the Earth's surface. And you can, uh, you can decide where you wanna land at on the surface. I'll show you that in a minute. But all your different always on displays, let's see, anything new with MIUI 14? These are all the standard Xiaomi, always on displays, nothing new here. One thing I will say, I'm a little bit disappointed because they keep saying more super wallpapers coming soon. They've been saying that for two years, okay? Animations, now y'all know my favorite, the starlight. I love when you get a notification and you get that starlight, but you can do red or blue if you want, but I'm gonna leave it on starlight. Let's see, double tap to uh, raise so wake. Let's see, double tap, turn the screen off. Okay, press the volume down twice, world star hip hop button, that'll launch a camera. Let's see, let's go to display. Okay, so we got dark mode scheduled. Now, if you want to, remember this is 2600 nits brightness, super bright. We got vivid, saturated, original, advanced. Okay, you can make it cold or hot if you want. I'm gonna keep it on vivid. Refresh rate, 60 hertz. <laughs> okay, you got 60 hertz, like this Mickey Mouse bullshit right here. Or you can drop it all the way up to 144 hertz, like a real phone. Okay, now I'm gonna be roasting Apple. I know a lot of y'all like, yo, what's up with your iPhone 15 real review? That's coming out on Friday or Saturday. Okay, I'm just testing a few more things out. We gotta deal with this overheating issue and all of that. But in the meantime, um, I'll fix y'all, give y'all give y'all a phone review fix with this Xiaomi shit. All right, so we got 144 hertz refresh rate, same on both phones. Now, I'm not gonna keep switching phones. The only, when it, let me say that again. I'm not gonna keep switching back and forth unless there's a big difference. Or otherwise, everything that you see right here is exactly the same on both phones. Sound and vibration, okay, dual stereo speakers, both of them, super loud. Okay, you got sound assistant, silent mode, additional settings. Now, I didn't even tell, let's see, do we got the EQ on this one? Because you know, let's see, sound effects. Okay, Dolby Atmos, preset, graphic EQ. Now, with the EQ with phones, I do it like this. Let me show you. <laughs> with these Xiaomi phones, Remember, this is just a phone, so it's gonna sound better just like this. Just put everything on max, okay? Custom. But if you want to, you got some presets, okay? Let's see, anything else? Haptic feedback level, let me leave that on max. Okay, uh, wall, let's see, home screen, anything to see here? Navigations, okay, look at this. Animation speed, if you want to, you can have it uh, relaxed, balanced, or fast. I'm gonna leave it on relaxed, okay? I, I don't really care about the super fast animations. I like to see the the the, the stuff pop up slowly, slowly and, and, and beautifully. <laughs> Anything else we need to see here? Blur app preview, show memory status, nope. Okay, that's it. Wallpapers. Okay, now there's a bunch of different wallpapers to choose from, but if you go to system wallpapers, or super wallpapers. You see, now these are the five that you got. Y'all seen the snowy peaks. The ge geometry, 
this one right here, that's how it looks. Okay, this is how you always on display looks. Then when you press the button, it's gonna look like this. And when you unlock the phone, it's gonna look like that. I ain't really feeling that one. And these are the only ones to choose from. More super wallpapers coming soon. They've been saying that for two years. I'm gonna have to place a call to my man Xi Jinping, okay? And tell him to step his game up, all right? We tired of these shits here. All right, let's see, anything else? That's our uh, wallpapers. We got a bunch of themes. Password and security. You got face unlock. You got a uh, fingerprint sensor. And you got your Bluetooth lock if you want. Let's see, da, da, da. Uh, privacy and protection, battery. Okay, you got ultra power saver mode. It shows you all of the apps that's eating your battery, and you can press one button and optimize it. Additional settings, okay, you got your accessibility. If you're hearing or visually impaired, everything is on deck. You got gesture shortcuts, okay, three fingers for screenshots, all that kind of stuff. Y'all seen this stuff 101 times. One hand mode, screen recorder, floating windows. I'll show you how that looks in a minute. Second space, also known as thought protection, and you got heart rate. Now, you got to be quiet for this. Okay. <laughs> now, <laughs> heart rate, 95. Now, let me see something real quick. Let's go to settings. Okay, so we go to settings. We go to additional settings. Let's see, heart rate. Okay, now I had did this earlier. I just wanted to see something. Right now, mine's is at 95 because y'all gotta remember, I'm in the middle of shooting a live YouTube video, so my adrenaline is up. But I did it today. It really works because this uh, when I did it this morning, I was laying out in the bed and it was at around 72. So 95, this is, I'm up, I'm active right now. So <laughs> it is what it is. That's my excuse for being a fat fuck. All right, let's see. All right, so that's, um, you got enterprise mode, developer options, OTG. Okay, and let me see. Do we need to see anything with apps? You got dual apps if you want. So you can have two Facebooks for your scumbag activities, but you can use Second Space for your real scummy activities. Let's see, accounts and sync, privacy, location, and feedback. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Everything is the same. Now, I just want to check something real quick. Let's go over to settings. Okay, so when you go to display, I just want y'all to see for yourself, 144 hertz. Okay, now this phone right here, 575 bucks. 900 bucks, 60 hertz, Apple, go eat a dick. All right, I'm sorry, yo. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roast Apple so hard, man. <laughs> y'all gonna love it. Y'all gonna love it. Anyway, I <laughs> know. Let me calm down. Let me calm down. All right. So, like I said, all of the settings identical. Now, I want to show you something. One of the things that I love about Xiaomi phones, biometrics. Okay, let's get a little wipe down on both of these. Biometrics. First of all, you got your on-screen fingerprint sensor, which works flawlessly okay you don't have to press it twice next if you want to you can swipe up put in your pad and your pin and you got face unlock one of the best face unlocks on the game or in the game i should say face unlock look how the xiaomi face unlock works on all of these devices look at that i mean the face unlock and the fingerprint sensor flawless all right so whoever's working at uh xi jinping headquarters in charge of the biometric department Get in contact with Google, okay, and show Google how to do it. Because this new Pixel is coming out tomorrow. If, if, if it has the same biometrics from the Pixel 7, it's automatically going to be a disappointment. Look at shoes trying to get, shoes trying to sneak a rub in, all right? So the biometrics, excellent. Next, now I got to remember, the 13 Pro is the one with the, the T Pro, the vegan leather back. I love the glass, uh, the front, flat glass on the front. Okay, let's just breeze through. Okay, there's your Google homepage. Now, this is running Android 13 with MIUI 14. So, all of your Android 13 widgets. Okay, now my Google. Let's see. Okay, Google widget. Oh, just said, hey, Google. <laughs> okay, my Google widget is acting up. Okay, but this is how it's supposed to look. Let's, um... Let's try this again. Let's, let's see if we could get this to work. You see, now, this is the kind of stuff I like to do in real time. Because when you get your phone, there it is. All right, so there's your Google homepage. I uh, actually Google widget. All of my Android 13 widgets actually work. This is my YouTube tracks. If I want to play some music, press one button. I choose, calm down, calm down, bro. And the same thing with the 13T. All of my Google widgets, everything works. 
All right, so now let's check the web browsing speeds. Now we're gonna see the difference between the processor, 8200 Ultra and 9200 T, uh, T, plus, I <laughs> Go to apple.com. Okay, now watch this, we'll click on the same. I mean, look, <laughs> in the real world, these processes are gonna feel exactly the same. Go to samsung.com. Okay, now as you can see, the T Pro actually opened up a little bit faster, but it's not fast enough that you would be like, oh, well, this is definitely worth the extra 100 bucks for the processor. No, these processors are gonna feel the same. Go to apple.com. You see? Both of these, 144 hertz refresh rate, excellent scrolling speeds. As far as the display, they are 100% identical. Now, if you want to, we can do floating windows, split screen multitasking. Okay, so I can have Google on the bottom. I check my Gmails. We'll do the same thing on this one. Okay, split screen multitasking. Let's do, okay, I was watching some Mortal Kombat stuff, <laughs> getting my Mortal Kombat moves together, you know, checking the patch notes, and look at iPhones at the same time. Okay, split screen multitasking, something else that you can't do on this bullshit $900 banana head iPhone 15 plus. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's test out the dual stereo speakers. Of course, I got the official Floss Carter Carter sound test by my homeboy, Mark Rebier. Now we're gonna start off with the 13T. Yo, sound test, time for sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, time for sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? Let's cover the bottom. That's just the top. Extra loud, extra bassy. Okay, now let's try it with the 13T Pro. I love the Xiaomi speakers. They always do a good job. These sound identical. You could feel that bass. Actually feel it a little bit more, but I played with the EQ. Let's cover the bottom. Here's the top. Okay, <laughs> so both of these have excellent sounding speakers. All right, so now let's check out these beautiful 6.67 inch AMOLED displays. Here we go. Now, as you can see, they both look exactly the same. Let me turn the volume down on one. Okay, let's get full screen. Here's the 13T. You hear those speakers? Excellent viewing angles. I love the flat glass panel design. Here's the Pro, same, 2600 nits brightness. Excellent viewing angles. Two beasts right here. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's try a little gaming. Of course, I got Asphalt 9 queued up. We're gonna start off with the 13T. Remember, this is the Dimensity 8200 Ultra. Here we go. Nice and smooth. No lag. Let's hit that 360. Um, ooh, 360 wrap. Oh, oh, okay, look at that. Oh, I'm out of control today. Let me try to drift one of these corners, though. Right? Let me see if I can get a real drift. Hold up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, here we go, watch this. Uh, drifting all the way through, <laughs> drifting all the way through. All right, anyway. Okay, so this is the 13T. Here's the 13T Pro. MediaTek Dimensity 9200 Plus. 
Here we go. Okay, now look, I, right where I left off at. Okay, let's see. Look, hold on, look at that. I, I've been doing a lot of drifting in this game lately. Let me see if I can drift it over the ramp. Look at that. <laughs> drift through the ramp. You like that. See, when you drift, though, it, it builds up your, your nitro. Is it 360? There it is. Okay. Hold on. Let me turn this on. All right. So gaming on your 13T Pro and your 13T, no issues at all. No overheating, no lag, just smooth gaming. All right, so now let's talk about the cameras. Now, both of these have the same Leica lens setup, but the biggest difference that you're gonna notice is with the video camera. Now, with the 13T Pro, you see we got 8K, 24 frames per second, but we can also drop it down to 4K at 60 frames per second. Now, with the 13T, you see 4K, 30 frames per second. That's the highest resolution, no 8K and no 60 frames per second. Okay, now even when you drop to 1080p, no 60 frames. So 1080p, 30 frames per second is the max. Other than that, everything else is the same. So you got photos, you got wide angle, all the way up to 20 times zoom. You got your portrait mode, you got night mode, okay, and you got more. So you got 50 megapixels, panorama, short film, slow motion, time lapse, long exposure, and let's just make sure same exact thing on both phones. So take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself. Now I'm not gonna post too many because I got a bunch of videos I wanna show y'all, but they're basically identical.
All right, so now let's talk about one of my favorite features on all of these Xiaomi phones, the IR Blaster. Now, I know a lot of people think IR Blaster, oh, you can control your TV. No, it's more than just TVs, okay? You can control your gaming monitors, your projectors, your air conditioner, your DVD players, your fans, your refrigerator, anything that has a remote control, okay? You can pair this up and use your phone as a universal remote control. When you're traveling, this is so clutch, okay? When you're in the gym and you want to turn off that corny TV show, IR Blaster. Now let me show you how it works in my office. All right, so I'm sitting up in the office. I just finished working. Now I wanna turn off all of my TVs using one phone. Okay, so let's start off with the Samsung TVs. Just like that. Another one, just like that. Now we'll switch over to LG TV. Press the button, just like that. And now let's switch over to Sony TV. Press the button, just like that. The IR Blaster is so clutch for me. This is a major go. All right, so now let's talk about another one of my favorite features from all of these Xiaomi phones, Second Space, also known as Thought Protection. Basically, you got two different phones at the same time. Here's how it works. Now y'all see I've been using my thumb for this whole video. Y'all see the super wallpapers, okay? So I'm just gonna open this up. Let's go to Facebook. That's my Facebook. Let's go to Instagram. That's my Instagram. Let's go to TikTok. That's my TikTok. And let's go to Twitter. Here's my Twitter. And of course, let's go to gallery, all of the photos that I took. Now, if I wanna protect my phone, I'm gonna use my first finger instead of my thumb also known as my thought print, and watch the switch. You seen how fast that was? Now check this out. I'm gonna go over to gallery, no photos. Okay, let's take a photo, let's get shoes. Let's say shoes was um a scumbag photo, okay? I'll have shoes in my scumbag photo library. We can exit out of that. Let's go to Facebook, no Facebook logged in. Instagram, no Instagram logged in, no TikTok logged in, no Twitter logged in. Okay, look at that. Now, gallery, one scumbag photo. I can leave my phone on the table like this, nobody can get into my other phone. Now when I wanna access the other phone, instead of using my thought print, I'm gonna use my thumb again. You hear that little click? We get a little switch. Now, I noticed it takes a little bit longer on the non-flagship Xiaomi phones, but it does work. There's the gallery, okay? You can't see that scumbag photo of shoes that I took. These are different photos, okay? Facebook, Messenger, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. Everything is logged in. Let's do that one more time. Okay, now let's use the thought print, <laughs> okay? Just in case you're hanging out with a thought, you're going to have to use your thought print. Exit out of that. Again, no Instagram logged in. No Facebook. No Twitter. No TikTok. And we got that one scumbag photo of shoes. Now, just so I can show y'all, I'll take another photo. Let's do, let's say, say this right here was a picture of some buns, right? <laughs> Right. So you're on, a, you're on a hot buns mission, okay? Now we got one photo, we got two photos right here. So here's my gallery. Just those two photos. Now let's go back to the regular phone. You're not gonna see that white box <laughs> when I go to my gallery. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so we got the switch over. Go to gallery, you see? Those are my last recent photos. So thought protection. Now here's my 13 Ultra. You see, I'm in thought mode right now. I'm gonna lock it up. Let's go back to regular mode and look at that switch. Like I said, it's a lot faster on the flagship phones, but it works exactly the same. Second space also known as thought protection. I love it. Now let's do the RDA test, regular daily activities. Now you just spent 575 bucks or 700 bucks on a brand new phone. Let's see how it works in the real world. 
Now the biggest downside to both of these phones is no wireless charge. Even though, you know, it's not the biggest deal in the world because with this phone, you can charge it from zero to 100% in 19 minutes and this phone zero to 100% in 42 minutes. So wireless charge is not a deal breaker, but I just like to have it. So let me show you these charging animations. Okay, when you plug it in, beautiful. Okay, and you're gonna get the same one on this. Look at that. All right, so let's set this up. So you wake up in the morning, no wireless charge, so you're gonna need a, a wired connection. Here's how it's gonna look when you wake up. Now, when you grab your phone, matter of fact, before you even grab it, as you can see, always on display. So I got the time, date, battery percentage, and my notifications. Let's let this charge animation go off and you can see the same thing on this. Okay, always on display and my notifications if I had any. Now, as soon as I wake up, all I gotta do is, I don't have to touch anything, just look at the phone. Face unlock, oh, you see the star lights? Cause I got a notification. Just pick it up, look at the phone, bang, just like that. All right. First thing I like to do, take it over to my Google homepage. Let's check out the uh, latest Mortal Kombat 1 news. Now everybody been asking me what's up with the Mortal Kombat 1 stream. I'm in the lab right now working on my techniques, but I will be streaming probably next weekend. Okay, let's see. Mortal Kombat 1 players aren't happy with <laughs> Predatory Premium Store DLC. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with that. All right, shout out to my man, Ed Boone. I know he be watching my videos. Yo, Ed, man, y'all gotta have to take it easy with these uh, <laughs> with the prices on these skins, yo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This stuff supposed to be free. Now, we already, do, we already done paid $100 in change for the goddamn game. All right, Ed, <laughs> I need y'all to, I need y'all to slow it down, yo. All right, so we got Robocop. We got a new movie coming out. Let me get in like that. Okay, Oppo Find N3 specs. Okay, Oppo coming out with another, with another fold. OnePlus got a fold coming out. Oh, look, here it is right here. The OnePlus has been confirmed to be the same device as the Oppo Find N3. <laughs> I mean, come on, we already knew that. I already told y'all that before. It's the same company, basically. All right, oh, yo, bro, who's watching Gen V? All right, now shout out to all the real ones out there who watch the boys. If you watch the boys and you liked it on Amazon, you need to start watching Gen V. It's pretty sick. Okay, now I just got this speaker in the mail, the Soundcore. I had the Motion 300. I'll review it in one of these days coming up. Okay, let's see. Um, I walked 11,000 steps with the Apple Watch Ultra 2 and the Series 9. <laughs> Bro, Apple Watch Ultra 2, another, another scam. Yo, shout out to Apple. Apple is out here scamming so hard. It's the same goddamn watch as the Ultra. It's the same watch, yo. The, the finger shit don't even work yet. Ah. Apple got me this year, man. That's why I'm, That's why I, I have no qualms with flaming them up in my real review because they got me this year. All right, they got me. Let's see, JetBlue unveils family seating guarantee policy. Okay. Let's see, I tested the airbus for a living. These are my top five picks for all budgets. Let's see, let, let, matter of fact, since we're here talking, let's see, what, let's see what somebody else's top fives are. Let's see. J-Labs Mini, okay. As soon as you say, okay, J, okay, maybe that's the budget department. I was about to say, let's see, J-Labs Mini. The Sony WFI. This must be his budget list. Jobber Elite Active 8. Mm. AirPods 2. Trash. Sony M5. Okay, now these are the best for noise cancellation, but that top five list has a lot to be desired, but I don't like to talk negative about nobody else. Everybody got their own opinion. Do your thing, bro. Okay, let's see. JBL Shop by Premium. 800 watts power. Whew. Okay, y'all already know I'm the JBL lover right here. I got the JBL. Matter of fact, I'll show y'all in a minute. The um, I got a new JBL speaker coming tomorrow. Let's see, John. Okay, anyway, so here's how your Google's gonna look. Now I'm not gonna do RDA on both of these, but I just want to keep it keep it quick. It's the same. Okay, the Google works exactly the same. All right, so next, let's take it over to Gmail. Okay. Now, if I want to reply to some messages at work, thanks. Hit send, bong. Now we can also open this up as split screen. And we got floating windows. Now floating windows doesn't work for all apps, but it does work for stuff like Facebook. I can have that in the floating window, move it around. So I could be on YouTube or doing something else while I'm still on Facebook. And you see, I can minimize it like that. Be in all my apps and Facebook at the same time. We'll throw that to the side. Okay, so let's keep it moving. All right, so that was my work segment of the day. Let's take it over to, <laughs> matter of fact, let's go back to Facebook. All right, let's see what's going down on Facebook. 
Okay, now y'all see the JBL Party Box Ultimates? Bro, let me tell you something, man. Somebody was like, oh, I'd rather stick with the Party Box 1000. When you hear the Party Box Ultimates, you're not going to like the Party Box 1000 anymore. I'm telling you. I'm telling you that for a fact. All right, oh, this is my actual Facebook. I'm like, all right, there's a lot of, a lot of me going on here. All right, let's see. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The DVLA Gemini 2, my second favorite earbuds out right now. I love these. Okay, this is like some, yeah. <laughs> now look, us old school cats, we be roasting, we be roasting the new generation for painting their fingernails and walking around with purses and all that. But old school cats, we was out here looking pretty zesty too, though. We was out here looking pretty zesty. <laughs> all anybody who's my age went through a zesty stage. You know? <laughs> Me was my breakdancing stages, and we out here looking zesty with the white gloves on. All right, anyway. All right, so here's how your Facebook is gonna look. Okay, let's see what's going down. Party Box Ultimate. Okay, it's my aunt right here. Galactus 2.0. Anyway, so here's how your Facebook is going to look. Now, I'm getting ready to review this next week, too. A lot of people have been asking for the Sound Box 4. We're getting into that, too. All right. Let's see anything else we need to see here. Here's a JB, I mean, uh, Skull Candy Barrel. Skull Candy's second best product behind the Skull Candy Crushers. The barrel is so, is, trust me, the barrel is Skull Candy's second best product. All right, let's see. Look, 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 look at Camille, my home group Camille. They're sitting on the bridge, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, everybody outside, I love it though. I love to see it. Look, 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 at, my cousin, look at my cousin. Look at my cousin. This is my younger cousin. Look at his beard, yeah? And he's younger than me, bro. I got them jean jeans, yeah? you know what I'm saying? Anyway, all right, so here's how your Facebook gonna look. Exit out of that. Next, let's take it over to <laughs> Let's take it over to uh, X. I gotta keep. I keep saying uh, Twitter. Let me say X. Okay, I want to shout out Flossy Carter for making videos and not just complaining like some of these other tech, some of these other creators. That's why he got the following. He makes content, do his own thing. Some of y'all too worried about what other creators are doing. All right, you know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I don't really be complaining about too much shit, but. I'm going to be complaining about this bullshit right here. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is some bullshit right here. Anyway, let's see. Uh, shout out to my man, Tharson. He be showing me a lot of love, yo. He's from uh, Sydney, Australia. He's one of my main dudes right there. Let's see. Floss Carter. Can we expect a floor stamp of approval? What is this now? Let's see. Hybrid headphones. One, uh, one BA, two DD hybrid headphones. All right. I'm going to have to get back. I'm going to I'm gonna have to get back on this. See, you no know, stuff like this. I like to take a screenshot because I'm going to get back on this. I'll get back on this. Look, look, look. White shoes, birthday party. <laughs> Shout out to my girl. She made that thumbnail for me. Y'all know I ain't really good with the thumbnails and all that. But she hooked up shoes with a nice thumbnail. Okay, let's see. Okay, now look. I noticed it was, I, got, I got, I don't know how I got dragged into this thread. But y'all was going in. Y'all was going in on MKBHD again. I don't know why y'all be giving him so much heat. But let's see. It says, I agree with MKBHD here. 60 hertz is okay for the average consumer at a certain price. My only problem with him is that he doesn't give this pass to other companies. If he was fair, I, if okay, if he was fair, I wouldn't point him out. I would actually agree with him, but he's not. And look, I'm gonna have to look. I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with MKBHD also. 60 hertz is good. If you're a fucking apple head, banana head peasant, you don't care about that. Okay? Because if all you have was these little peasant bullshit iPhones, you don't know nothing about refresh rate, so you're not gonna care. But if you got a big iPhone, all right, if you got the iPhone 14 Pro Max with 120 hertz, you're not gonna wanna go backwards to this. I've been hearing a lot of people, matter of fact, let me let me save this. Let me save my rent. <laughs> Because, you know, I was getting ready to start ranting. I right, look, let's see. Um, like Somebody said, uh, how did I get dragged into this? Let's see. This your man's? Flossy Carter would never. <laughs> you know, look. Look, man, I don't be giving a pass to nobody. Y'all watch my channel. I be shitting on Samsung as much as I like Galactus. This bullshit charging speed compared to this. This is 45 watt charging speed compared to 120. Samsung, you got to do better. Look, I'm calling out any company that needs to be called out. Now, I ain't gonna sit around complaining all day long, but I'm saying, I mean, sometimes companies need to get called out. You know, but I'm saying like, but, but MKBHD is right. The average banana head Apple iPhone peasant is not gonna care, and he's 100% right. And I'm gonna talk to y'all more about that when I do my full review, because I did a little survey. I went outside and did a little survey, and you're gonna be surprised with the results. All right, let me calm down. I start, I start talking about Apple. You notice my blood pressure went up. Let me take my heart rate real quick. All right, let's see. Um, what will be your top Amazon, let's see, uh, functions? 
I don't really use Amazon. I just let Amazon turn my lights on and off. I don't really be using it too much like that. Do you still do Sunday Night Savagery? We getting ready to start back up. I haven't been doing it because I don't like streaming in the summertime because I can't rock my air conditioner while I'm streaming and it'd be too hot up there. <laughs> Saying so, in the wintertime, it's a lot easier for me to stream. Happy birthday, Zerks. All right, Shoes, look. Shoes, you got a little birthday love. Let's see, Canelo. Who's seen the Canelo fight? I, I tweeted something about Canelo. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> Shoes, yeah, 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 Shoes, check this out. Uh, anyway, <laughs> let's see. Um, iPhone 15 Pro images look so good in Android phones. <laughs> what is he talking about? All right, I'm gonna chill, I'm gonna chill. Let's see. All right, anyway. A lot of white shoes. Happy birthday, love. Let's keep it moving. All right, so that's your Twitter. Let's take it over to... Now, we'll switch phones. Let's take it... Excuse me. Let's take it over to TikTok. We'll do TikTok on the 13T. All right, four things you have to stop doing immediately. Okay. Uh, okay, you know what I'm saying? Taking a little too long. Get to the four things. Here. Okay, one of the nastiest plays ever. Ooh! Now, that's what you call... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're going to need ankle surgery after that. Look at this. He needs ankle surgery after that one. All right. So here's TikTok. I shoes. This simple trick. Remove ads on your phone. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't come on, shoes. Get your ass right. You got, got, your, got your smelly ass right in my face. Man, bro. All right, shoes, bro. <laughs> I'm going to need I'm gonna need you to reel it in. All right. Look at this. Now, imagine if this was the Galaxy S24. That would have been sick, but we all know it's gonna look just like this. It's gonna be gonna be one new color. It's gonna look just like this shit. All right, so get, get this image out of your head. All right, hold up, square up. Oh, he's squaring up with the. Oh, what's what's this? He about to do some 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 Mai Tai. He's about to do some Muay Thai. <laughs> what is that? What kind of move is that? Look at look at look at look at pop snaps right here. Pop pop. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of dancing. A lot of dancing. Okay, y'all know I like food stuff. So, oh, look at this. Ooh. The interior of his new Benz is be looking crazy, yo. That should, that's, a, that's a spaceship. Back in the days, we used to be like, yo, he driving a spaceship. This is a spaceship right here. All right, let's see. Anything else? Uh, let's see. Uh, love it. Trump 2024. All right, well, yeah. <laughs> Meatball Ron. Yo, Trump Trump already got the new nicknames. I heard I heard, I heard him today. He said he said Sloppy Duck. With, oh, yeah, sloppy, uh, what is it? Chris Christie? Sloppy Chris <laughs> Meatball Ron, yo. Shout out to my man Meatball Ron the Sanctimonious. <laughs> my man Donald Don Corleo Trump. That's my guy, man. I don't care what nobody say, man. That's one of my guys. <laughs> hey, let's keep it moving. Okay, let's do so, some so, so, uh, military, uh, military stuff. Okay. This guy right here is Donald Trump impression. Very sad. Very sad what they did. We should go after <laughs> the radical Democrats who are coming after your favorite president. China McCarthy. I'm China. Aye, aye, aye. Yo, yo shout, shout out to my man Mitch McConnell. Why he was buffering the other day. <laughs> Mitch got to get his Wi-Fi checked out. That nigga was out here buffering. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, not, I'm having too much fun. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> I'm sorry. He was buffering. Yeah. All right. Again, get this image out of your mind. This is not going to be the Galaxy S24. Get that out of your mind. Oh, look at that. This is my kind of shower. Right? Anyway, this is it. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. This how your TikTok is gonna look. Let's keep it moving. Now, somebody asked me about the new bump box. All these Samsung renders, bro, is this. Okay, this is the S24. Stop looking at these videos, y'all. Is this, is this maybe some sky blue, some maybe some you know, new lime green or some shit, but it's this. It's basically this. Let's keep it moving. All right, so that's TikTok. Ooh, now I need to sleep in there. I imagine waking up some shit like this, yo. People ask me if I win the lottery, what would I do this? This is what I'm doing, yeah? And nothing else. I'm not making no videos. I'm not doing no flexing on Instagram. This. I'm in this bed all day, every day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Does somebody call me and check on me once a week? But I'm here every day. All right, let's keep it moving. Oh, what is this now? Is this that OnePlus? Oh, this is Huawei? Okay, Huawei got a new phone. Man, come on, man. I need Huawei back in the USA, man. I miss Huawei phones so much, man. Huawei would be killing it right now. If Huawei was still in the USA, Huawei, Xiaomi, Oppo, it's a lot of dope products coming out. All right, let's keep it moving. That's um, that's that's TikTok. I can do this shit all day. Let's go over to Instagram. Let's see what's going down on the gram. Okay, Circus Bear Attack. Hold up. The Circus Bear about to get busy. Let's see. Y'all better stop. Y'all gonna learn to stop playing with these animals yet. Uh, the animal don't know this is a circus show. He's like, yo, what? He's, who, who you talking to, bro? Oh, he kicked the bit. Oh, he kind of kicked the bit. The, the bit don't feel that, man. Whoa. Okay. 
if you see me fighting a bear, do me a favor, help the bear. <laughs> I don't care. Help the bear. All right, so we got the Galaxy S23 Fan Edition coming out. Let's see, 6.4-inch display. Let me get in and save that. I'll read that later, even though I, I'm acting like I ain't got a review unit already. <laughs> let's see. Pray, let's see. Okay, there we go. Calvin, there we go. Calvin. Oh, look at that. Pennsylvania man's tried to rob Apple Store, jumped from the second floor. Yo, bro, you going this hard for this shit? You, you, you jumping off the second floor for 60 hertz? Imagine what you'll do for 144 hertz. Yo. Y'all, that's what I'm saying. Y'all better, y'all better watch y'all back out there. Dudes out here jumping off second story mall floor, malls for this bullshit. Okay. Okay. All right, yo, this is the, this is one of my all-time new favorite videos. Oh, this guy right here, he be making some dope cat videos. I, I don't even want to watch. I want to save that. Okay, so we got the Galaxy Tab S9 Fan Edition and the S9 Fan Edition Plus. All of this stuff I'm reviewing. All right, shoes you. Okay. Okay, let's see. Everybody doing these um, Sophie D, if you know, you know. <laughs> Everybody doing these AI photos. <laughs> if you know, you know. All right, let's see. Uh, we got my man Boozy out here, a little Boozy. Okay, Kwame. Now, this is one of my guys in real life. My man Kwame, back in the days, had me rocking them polka dot shirts. You know what I'm saying? All right, anyway. Okay. Right. Let's see. Florida man executed for murdering women he met at the beach bar. Denies uh, final meal. Says, I love you all. Mm. Should have thought about that earlier, bro. Sexy Red, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I ain't really a big Sexy Red fan, but hey, it is what it is, yo. Uh, look at Pharrell rocking that flat Richard Mill. Okay. Anyway, so here's how you, um, uh, one quick side note. If y'all want to see a, a full video of me just going through social media, talking shit, I can, I can, I can make that happen. I've been getting a lot of requests to do that. I can make that happen. Okay, let's see. Let me jump. Thick thighs, break lives. All right, let's see. Um, all right, anyway, so here's how your Instagram, <laughs> here's how your Instagram, let me jump. Why am I in the mood to play basketball all of a sudden? Yeah. All right, chill. Let me, let me, let me reel it in. Let me jump. Anyway, so this is uh, your Instagram. Let's see, can we split Instagram now on this too? Because I noticed a lot of new phones, yep, you've been able to split Instagram. All right, so we can split Instagram. Oh, nope. Oh, yeah, okay, look. We can split Instagram, so I got my photos on the bottom, Instagram on the top. Okay. Yeah, look, yeah, yeah shoot, 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 look at this. Look, look, look at this. Yo, you ever let your cat watch a cat video? They be like, <laughs> look, look, at, look, at, look at Shoe's face here. Yeah. He was it. Anyway, all right, Luda. All right, anyway, so as you can see for yourself, though, RDA, regular daily activities, everything works fine. Let's just let's just get a fresh refresh real quick. Okay. Oh, look at that steering wheel. This is where I got my steering wheel from. Aza Auto Wheel. Pretty epic. Okay. <laughs> My man, future. Anyway, all right. So let's. I know. I, 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 let's, let's wrap this up. Let's wrap this up. Anyway, RDA, regular daily activities. Both of these phones, as you've seen for yourself, the processor. Even though one is actually better, but in real life, they're basically the same. Basically the same. Let's kind of wrap this video up. All right. So overall, on a scale of one to ten, I'm giving the Xiaomi 13T and 13T Pro a major, major go at 575 and 700 bucks, as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. Excellent battery life, excellent display, excellent cameras. The only downside to both of these phones is no wireless charge, but they both make up for it with fast charging batteries. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. Special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me.
All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and pitch and roll. It's your boy Floss and I'm Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Guys, Jerry Springer here. Uh, subscribe to Flossy Carter for the real reviews. Uh, he has a tech channel on YouTube, and he already has over two million subscribers. So uh, give him a look. Uh, you may like it, and it could be very useful. Take care of yourself and each other. <laughs>